Data is everywhere, in every industry and business function. It is huge and in various forms, such as numbers, images, videos, and text, among others. Termed as big data, this data needs to be properly organized, stored, and processed in order for businesses to be able to use it to make well-informed business decisions. When correctly analyzed, this data has been found to benefit businesses in detecting the occurrence of fraud. Frauds usually occur in banks and other financial organizations, as well as in the online retail sector. Big data can be used not only to educate these businesses and their customers, but also to prevent fraud and save the losses incurred due to frauds. In this video, you will learn about the application of big data for fraud management in the online retail and insurance industries by focusing on some real-life examples. Let us first look at the types of fraud that exist in the online retail industry. There are three common types of financial fraud that impact online retailers. The first is credit card fraud, where a fake or stolen credit card is used to make an online purchase. The second type of financial fraud is exchange or return policy fraud. Fraudsters sometimes use products and then return them. They may even state they have never received the products, claim their refund, and then go on to sell the products online. The third type of fraud is personal information fraud. Here, a fraudster steals a customer's login information, then logs in, purchases products using the customer's credentials, and simply has them delivered to a different address. The retailer has to then refund the charge to the real customer until they can prove that this is a fraudulent transaction. The common practices employed by businesses to prevent financial frauds include vigilantly observing customer buying patterns and watching out for red flags indicated by huge orders and changed billing addresses, among other things. These preventive measures become difficult to implement when the data and number of transactions are huge. That is where big data analytics comes into play. Using big data techniques, an organization can analyze a complete set of data and use it to study patterns and gain meaningful insights that, in turn, can be used to manage and prevent fraud. Businesses can use four kinds of data sources for controlling and managing frauds. These include a database of all existing frauds, recognized potential fraud patterns, modeled behaviors of hackers, system and networks generated data which can highlight irregularity patterns such as the speed at which a password is typed. With big data techniques, it is possible to evaluate the complete data available and to derive meaningful insights. Big data can also be used to detect real-time fraud by comparing live transitions with different sources of data in order to authenticate online transactions. It can also be used to identify any new ways of fraud and then add them to the fraud prevention checks. Big data can also be used to visually analyze fraud. To this end, it is used to create maps and graphs that can be used to make comparisons. These in turn can be used to create effective systems that can be placed to appropriately block fraud. Big data can even reflect comparisons between products and regions, thus alerting online retailers to where a greater probability of fraud exists and allowing retailers to mitigate the risk accordingly. Thus, using big data results in increased business viability and profitability, improved trustworthiness of the businesses concerned, reduction in the losses that could have occurred from fraudulent transactions, and also increased customer confidence. Now that you have learned about the application of big data for fraud management in the online retail sector, we will learn how big data is used to manage fraud in the insurance industry. Every insurance company wants to reduce claim cycle time by making decisions in real time when processing a new claim. But in doing so, they also want to ensure that the right claims are being honored. Insurance companies incur huge losses due to fraudulent claims. 
These companies constantly strive to reduce the number of fraudulent claims they receive, which, in turn, protects them from incurring huge losses. Traditionally, insurance companies use statistical models to identify fraudulent claims, but these can only prevent fraud to a limited extent. For instance, insurance companies usually use small samples of data for analysis. This normally leads to one or more frauds going undetected. In addition, since this method depends only on previously recorded fraud cases, if a fraud based on a new technique occurs, insurance companies have to bear the initial losses. By employing big data, the companies are able to use a variety of data and also integrate third-party data such as bank statements, legal judgments, criminal records, and medical bills with their organization data. And this huge data can be analyzed to provide a useful means of predictive analysis. This helps insurance companies investigate and restrict fraudulent activities, thereby increasing their profitability. Some other powerful big data approaches for detecting frauds are social network analysis, predictive analysis, and social customer relationship management, CRM. Let us look at social network analysis, one of the more innovative fraud detection methods in detail. Simply termed as SNA, it refers to the analysis of the data generated in social networks. SNA can be used along with big data to identify and detect frauds. The SNA tool uses a mix of analytical methods, which includes statistical methods, pattern analysis, and link analysis to uncover large amounts of data to show relationships. Let us first look at link analysis in detail. When using link analysis in fraud detection, data clusters are first identified, and then links are determined between these and other data clusters. Public records like criminal records and legal judgments make up the data sources that can be integrated into a model. An insurance company can rate claims by integrating the different data sources into a model, and if, for instance, the rating is high, the company can infer that the claim is fraudulent. Before implementing SNA, however, organizations should carefully consider certain questions. These include questions regarding how fast the data arrives, how much of unrequired data exists when it arrives, how deep the analysis should be before the most accurate results are determined, and what type of user interface components need to be included on the SNA dashboard. Once an organization has considered these questions, if they then decide to implement SNA, they have to follow a step-by-step -step SNA method. Firstly, the analytics team uses both structured and unstructured data from various sources and scores the risk of fraud and ranks the likelihood of fraud. Then, depending on the score, an alert is generated and the issues identified are added into the case system for future references. Thus, researchers can leverage the information to research more fraudulent claims. We have just looked at one method of fraud detection, social network analysis. Let us now look at a second method, predictive analysis. Predictive analytics includes the use of text analytics and sentiment analysis to look at big data for fraud detection. Predictive analytics technology is used to sift through unstructured data, identify potentially fraudulent claims, as well as to expedite the payment of legitimate claims. The predictive analytics technology has three steps. Firstly, it is important to remember that claims adjusters write detailed reports when investigating a claim. These reports usually contain clues that the adjuster may not have noticed, the computing system highlights these clues, indicating possible fraud. The fraud detection system spots discrepancies and then flags the claim as fraudulent. The third method for fraud detection is Social Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, which is a process that enables effective fraud detection in the insurance sector by making it necessary for insurance companies to link social media sites to their CRM systems. 
social customer relationship management benefits the customer by making the system customer-centric with greater transparency and also benefits the organization by allowing it to leverage the collective intelligence of its customer base. For example, an insurance company can implement a big data analytical platform that uses data from social media to provide a real-time view of claimants' requests. It allows agents to diagnose the patterns of behaviors and relationships among other claimants and provide triggers for identifying fraud. For example, a customer indicates that his car was destroyed in a flood, but the documentation from the social media feed reflects that the car was in another city at the time of the flood. These glaring discrepancies indicate fraud. We now know that big data can detect patterns of fraudulent behavior from large amounts of structured and unstructured data, and that it helps to detect fraud in real time, thus reducing the number of days it takes to process a claim, as well as ensuring a better return. Now that you can understand business application of big data, let's evaluate your understanding so far. If you selected credit card fraud, exchange or return policy fraud, and personal information fraud, you are correct. Credit card fraud, exchange or return policy fraud, and personal information fraud are the most common financial frauds that impact online retailers. Big data can be used intelligently to circumvent these types of fraud. Let's do a quick recap of what you've learned in this session. Frauds occur frequently in banks and other financial institutions as well as in the online retail sector. Big data analytics can help to check frauds by evaluating complete data, detect fraud in real time as well as to visually analyze fraud, create visibility into blind spots of business, and manage fraud by integrating with various sources of data, such as social media. Overcome the limitations of the traditional statistical models that were used to identify fraudulent activities. Three innovative fraud detection methods include social network analysis, SNA, predictive analysis, and social customer relationship management, CRM.